Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Welcome back. Today we're going to do a challenge on Oxford comma challenge. So we have done from lowercase up to the gerund slicing challenge up to here. And if you haven't done that, no problem. Just go back to my videos and do those challenges. And if you're on my website, I'll put the links to all the previous challenges we've done so you can take a look at them. And if you're on my website, again, you could code right there on the platform. The link is in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. Let's continue. So we have this challenge and it says, and we're gonna do this live. So I'm, again, I'm, I wanna stress that I'm thinking out loud here with you guys. I was about to cheat and look at it before the video so I could prepare myself and then come off really smart. But instead, what I'm gonna do is just do it live. So if I'm making mistakes, it's okay. You see me make the mistakes, okay? And then we just walk through it and step through it and build things. All right. Uh, make a function comma phi that given a list of three or more things, return a list with commas, okay? So it could be three things or more things, but keep that in mind. The list that's given to us is definitely gonna be three or more things which means that we don't have to account for two things or one thing or zero things, okay? That makes your coding life a little bit easier. That's why pay attention instructions. Sometimes you might do something that you don't even have to uh, do and you might spend a lot of time doing that. So if we, get, if we gave commify the function a list like this, trinket learning fun, it should return it as trinket comma learning comma space and space fun. Okay, that is very interesting. So one thing I'm thinking about already is I could probably call the join function and join it with commas in a space. But the problem that happens there is the last one won't have a space. So for example, here's what I mean. If I open up my command line, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. Um, hello and apple okay so if i do dot join method on this and run it with a comma and a space you see i join it all haha hello apple haha comma space hello comma space apple but there's no and here so i'm thinking about how we would go and do that now I'm wondering if we directly tap into the list that's given to us, get the last element, prepend and, the word and, and a space, and then just call the dot join method. So here's what I mean. If we tap into this exact list, right, and instead of this just saying apple, we make it and apple, and then we call the dot join method with the comma and a space, does that work? Yeah. That, that works, right? Ha ha, hello, and Apple. Okay, so how would we change the last guy? Let's figure that out. So if I'm given a list to acts as the last element, I do negative one, and I will say, make this element what this element was, and plus space what this element was previously. Ah, so that's an interesting line. What the heck does that do? So let's do this. Oh, and we shouldn't call things list like that because list is a built-in, but whatever. Shame on you, Hour of Python. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this list Uh, just list, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll use this line and then we'll see what happens. Okay? And now we'll call list. And looks like it worked, okay? Looks like this line did exactly what we wanted it to do. Now let's go back here and what we'll do is just call the dot join method on this, remember? Just like we said. So now if I call uh, dot join, right? And I join it by a comma and a space, and I call the dot join on 
that list looks like it is doing exactly what we expected it to do. Now let's do that. Return. Like this, comma and a space. Okay, let's try it out. So trinket learning fun should turn into trinket. So it should turn into one string that says, so it should go from a list of three elements, trinket learning fun, to a string, one string, that says trinket comma space learning comma space and space fun. Let's run it. Trinket comma space learning comma space and fun. Boom. And to prove to you there's a space there, I even highlighted it. Lions comma space tigers comma space and bears. Beautiful. Okay. So hopefully you saw how we got it to work. That's okay if you can figure it out on your own. But now that you understand it, do exactly what I said in the previous video. Go back to the drawing board and try to come up with a solution yourself. A lot of coding challenges I see don't do this, right? It's one guy behind the screen who's already solved the problem. And then they just try to like spit out the solution back at you, which is cool. I mean, you can learn from it, but I think it's important to see how you go about coming up with the solution. So, you know, that's what I would do. I would open up my command line, try out these things, see what it means, and then go back to my Python script and add these things in as I build the project and make it bigger. And remember, if you want to build those apps like I show you in my OOP course or in even my Python, uh, Learn Python course that's free, these are the skills that you need to be able to do those bigger projects. So even if you're trying to take my app course or you're trying to take any other online course at, or you're just trying to build apps on your own with Python or whatever, you need these fundamental uh, skills so then you can build whatever you want, okay? Because if you don't have these, you won't be able to build big apps and you won't be able to even build small apps, right? You become really limited with your ability of what you can do. If you want to change the world with code, you better be able to do some of the stuff from scratch and be able to think about it. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did and you're on YouTube, give it a little like button uh, and subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces off and I'll see you in the next video.